Something that really helped me dealing with my tinnitus was letting go of where my baseline volume is. What I mean is, over the last 22 years of having tinnitus, I've noticed something. The baseline volume of my tinnitus is fluid. It changes from time to time, and sometimes from day to day. So I began to understand that holding on to the baseline volume was futile. And the reason why I think this is so important is because letting go of my baseline volume was a big step in helping me detach myself emotionally from my tinnitus. And this is what I mean. If I'm constantly checking where my baseline is, checking if it's changed, if it's gone up, if it's gone down, what I'm subconsciously doing is I'm doing the exact thing that I should avoid. I'm giving attention and focus to my tinnitus and tinnitus loves your attention. It hungers for it. And two, I'm constantly measuring my emotional well-being against where my tinnitus baseline is. And that's a losing game. One certainty that I have found during the last 22 years of having tinnitus is that my baseline is fluid. It's not fixed. So by trying to hold on to it, always measuring it, it's just a game I'm never gonna win. But more importantly, it stops me from distancing myself emotionally from my tinnitus, which is the ultimate goal. If I'm constantly focusing on it, I'm constantly in tune and aware of it. And that's exactly what I don't wanna do. Now I wanna be really clear about something. I don't think there is a set it and forget it type answer with anything to do with tinnitus. It's not like I go, okay, my baseline's fluid, no emotion, cool, I'm good to go. Champagne and strawberries from here on in. That's just not how it works. I always say the phrase journey with tinnitus. And the reason why is because I think that's exactly what it is. I'm on a journey with my tinnitus. And like any journey in life, there are small deviations and setbacks, even though I know I'm going in the right direction. Nobody walks out their door and walks in a straight line and never stops. There's always setbacks and deviations, unless you're Forrest Gump going for a jog, of course. The same applies to my journey with tinnitus. So this is what I mean. I have managed to detach myself from my tinnitus because I know that my baseline is fluid. And every now and again, I check where it is, I check where the volume is, and I'm sometimes emotionally affected for a short period of time if I feel that it's changed, perhaps it's gone up. But that's because I'm human, I'm not a robot. But I quickly remind myself of all the tools that I talk about in my videos and in my books, and they greatly help me. They enable me to once again detach my emotions from my tinnitus and start moving forward again. To me, in my mind, this is just normal. And I'm just being honest with you. I have my ups and downs with my tinnitus, even though I make these videos and I talk about these things in my books. I also have ups and downs, and I think it's really important to embrace those ups and downs because otherwise, when we do face these setbacks, we get really emotionally affected by them. But if we just know that it's part of the journey, they don't scare us as much. So the message that I hope that I'm conveying in this video is that after 22 years of having tinnitus, one of the very few certainties that I believe exists with tinnitus is that your baseline and mine is fluid. And because of that, the best thing that we can do is just let go. It's like trying to hold on to a wave. You're not gonna hold on to it. This helps us focus less on our tinnitus and focus more on what is important. And that is living a fulfilled and happy life, regardless and despite of the tinnitus. So I hope the message makes sense. I hope that it helps in some small way. I've got a website called helpmytinnitus.com where you can download my free PDF, Five Tips for Tinnitus. You can also check out my other videos and interviews on the website. It's got a lot of good stuff on there. But for now, I wanna say thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one.